Hi and welcome to my channel, my name is Eric. Did you know that there's more than one way to filter your data in Excel? Can you guess it? No? No worries. That's what this video is about. I'll be teaching you advanced filter. You can easily filter and copy your data as well within the worksheet. Let's go see how it works. All right, so the traditional way of filtering your data is usually going up by the home tab and then go to filter and filter, or you can press control shift and L to filter and we just manually adjust what we want to filter. Well, let me tell you there's a better way, a faster way to filter your data and that's using advanced filter. So what you want to do is have a criteria. So our criteria right now, I'm going to do games played and it's going to be greater or equal to 70. So next we're going to select our entire data set. I'm going to go up to the data tab and then go to advanced. So you want to leave action as filter the list in place and our list of range would be our entire data set here. Our criteria range is going to be greater or equal to 70 including the header. So that's important you need to include the header and then click on OK. So now our entire list of here is filtered and we have 19 teams that have 70 or greater games played. So now if I control Z and undo it and do the traditional way to filter it, We'll see that we'll see that the total is exactly the same. We have 19 teams here. And you see how simple that was? Now if you want to add additional criteria, we can as well. So let's do let's do wins and we'll have greater or equal to uh, 40 wins. So again, same thing, make sure our entire data set is selected. Go up to advanced filter. Under action, we'll leave filter the list in place. Uh, make sure our list of range is correct and our criteria range is now updated to these two including the header that's important we need to include the header now we're going to click okay oh there we go now we have four teams that fit this criteria now we can add more criteria to this list let's say i want to have losses i want for this i want less than or equal to uh, 19. so again we'll select our entire data set go to advanced Leave the, the action as filter list in place. Make sure list range is correct. And now our criteria is updated. We need to include these three columns, including the header again, and then click on OK. So now we only have two teams that fit this list. All right, now we're going to move on to the bonus. Yay, the bonus. All right, so let's say you don't want all these columns. You only want, let's say, the name, games played, wins, and loss. So we're gonna make sure we have the header correct and we're gonna place it over here. Let's adjust the columns. And then we're going to, again, select the entire data set, go to advanced. For the action, now we're gonna change it to copy to another location. All right, so the list arrange, make sure that's correct. Criteria has been updated. We want these three columns, including the header. That's important. And then the copy two, we'll need to select the entire header, not just one. Otherwise, if you select just one, it's not going to work. It's only going to return whatever column that you selected. So we need to select all three. Then we're going to click OK. There we go. We now we have the two. Now you can add more columns as well. You can do uh, you can add these extra ones as well. Um, so again, same thing. We'll just do advanced filter. Make sure that's copied to another location. Make sure that's correct. And the copy to, we'll need to update this to include all the headers. That's important. Click OK. Now you see that it returns anything in, under the header. Hey, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Also leave a comment down below for any topics or suggestions that you want me to cover. See you in the next video.